Welcome back. In this video, we'll learn that if we know the solution to a linear system, we also know the solution to the associated homogeneous system. Example 3.4.3. Given that the general solution to the linear system, x1 minus 2x2 plus 3x4 is equal to 1, minus 3x1 plus 6x2 plus x3 minus 4x4 is equal to minus 2, and 2x1 minus 4x2 minus x3 plus 2x4 is equal to 1, is given by the following vector equation, x1, x2, x3, x4, is equal to the constant vector 1, 0, 1, 0, plus the vector 2, 1, 0, 0, multiplied by the parameter t, where t is a real number. We need to find the solution to the associated homogeneous system, which is given here. Notice that the only difference between this system and the one above are the constants. In the first equation, I had constants 1, minus 2, and 1. In the homogeneous system, of course, I have constants 0, 0, and 0. Okay, so what, we can, what we'll see is that we can actually write down the solution to the homogeneous system just by knowing the, the solution to the original system. In order to see how we're going to do this, I'm actually going to go through the row reduction process. So let's start by writing down, let's call this here system A, and we'll call this new system, the homogeneous system, we'll call that system B. That way we can differentiate easily between the augmented matrix of each. Okay, so the the augmented matrix of the original system is 1, minus 2, 0, 3, 1, minus 3, 6, 1, minus 4, and minus 2, and 2, minus 4, minus 3, whoops, minus 1, uh, 2, and 1. Okay, so we need to go through the reduction process to see where the solution comes from. So when I do that, the first two row operations that I'll do, I'll use the leading one in the top left to do row two plus three times row one becomes the new row two, and row three minus twice row one becomes the new row three. So this gives me the matrix 1 minus 2, 0, 3, 1, and 0. And now I do 6 uh, plus 3, so that's also a 0, then a 1, and minus 4 plus 9 is 5, and minus 2 plus 3 is 1. And for the last row, I have 0, and then again 0 and then minus 1, and 2 minus 6 is minus 4, and finally 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Okay, now we'll use this leading entry here to clear below using the row operation row 3 plus row 2 is the new row 3. This is going to give me the augmented matrix, 1 minus 2, 0, 3, 1, 0, 0, 1, 5, 1, 0, 0, 0, uh, 1, and 0. Okay, now I'll use uh, this leading one here to clear above. So I'll do the row operations, row 2 minus Five, row 3 is the new row 2, and row 1 minus 3, row 3 is the new row 1, which gives me 1 minus 2, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. 
Okay, and so now it looks like I do have, let's look at the leading entries. We have this one, this one, and this one. I have ones below the leading entries, ones above the leading entries. So I know that this is now an RREF. Okay, so from here, of course, that's where we have to read down, we have to read the solution. So when I read the solution uh, from row three, I have that x4 is equal to zero. From row two, I have that uh, x3 is equal to one. I notice that there's no leading entry in the second column. So I'm gonna call the variable x2, the parameter t, where t is in R. And finally now from row one, I have that x1 is equal to one plus two t. Okay, so if we write this down now in vector form, I have the solution x1, x2, x3, x4 is equal to, let's see, the constants from x1 is one, the constant from x2 is zero, the constant from x3 is one, the constant from x4 is zero, plus, now I have the scalars of the constant t. I have two from the x1 term, one from the x2 term, and zero, zero. Okay, so this is how we got the solution to the linear system. Of course, it was given to you in the beginning, so we knew that this was there to begin with. But now what I wanna do is I wanna go back and let's look at how the reduction process would change if instead of having a og, we were talking about b og. So remember, all that we're going to do is we'll write down the augmented matrix of the homogeneous linear system. And now I have 1, minus 2, 0, 3, 0, minus 3, 6, 1, minus 4, 0, and 2, minus 4, minus 1, two and zero. Okay, so when we look at this and we say, how are we gonna solve this? We'll notice that the first two row operations that I wanna do are exactly the same ro two row operations that I did uh, with AOG. And when I think about what's gonna happen, the only change in the reduction is going to take place in the column of constants. And so I can see that this is gonna be an easy change to make because whenever I'm adding zero or scalar multiples of zero, it's still just zero. So what I can do is I can go and I can just copy, whoops, I can go and copy the matrix on the left-hand side here, copy, and I can paste it over here. And the only thing that I'm gonna change is I'm just gonna add some zeros. Okay, and then I think about what's going to happen next, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to keep this same row operation. And I'm going to move it over here. When I reduce, I'm going to get the exact same matrix. So again, I can just copy it off the left hand side, paste it onto the right hand side and let's just separate everything here and the only change that I have to make is to the constant column and every single time of course the change is just adding zeros okay so let's do the one final step so in the final step I end up with the matrix 1 minus 2 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 0, 0, 1, whoops, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And am I missing? I just copied directly, so of course this is a mistake here. That should just be a 0 here. Okay, so what this means for us then is we can now again use this information. I'm still gonna set x2 to be equal to the parameter t. 
I have that x1 is going to be equal to, now instead of x1 being equal to 1 plus 2t, it's just going to be 0 plus 2t. x2 is still going to be t. Oh, we already had that. x3 is going to be equal to, this time it's equal to 0, and x4 is also still equal to 0. When I write down the solution to the in, the in vector form, now I have x1, x2, x3, x4 is equal to, let's write down the column of constants. Wait a minute, it's all zeros. 0, 0, 0, 0, plus, let's write down the coefficients of the t's. From x1, I have 2. From x2, I have 1. And from the others, I have 0. So here again, t is a real number parameter. Let's compare these. Notice that the constant vector on the left-hand side was 1, 0, 1, 0. For the homogeneous system, it's 0, 0, 0, 0. This makes sense because we know that the trivial solution is always a solution to the linear system. And when we look at the parameter t, on the left-hand side, we have the vector 2, 1, 0, 0. And notice on the right-hand side, it's exactly the same vector, 2, 1, 0, 0. Therefore, to write down the solution to the homogeneous system, I could have just started with the solution to the original system, replaced the constant vector by the zero vector, and I'd have the solution. That would have been quite a bit faster.